Hi, my name's Paul. I'm a medical practitioner and I've had um, central sleep apnea for over 20 years. Uh, in this next few minutes I'm going to uh, explain to you how I've um, managed to control this life-threatening condition. Um, I first of all tried um, CPAP, which I found unsuccessful. I still had the uh, headaches, morning confusion and uh, tiredness. Um, I also discovered that I would still wake up not breathing and in, in, in fact I would um, fall, uh, stop breathing before falling to sleep. Um, so I needed something else. Um, I needed a machine that would um, cause me to breathe whether I liked it or not. So um, I've ended up with a, a respirator. Um, I'll now um, show you the parts of this respirator. Uh, this model is over 20 years old. Um, it, they tend to work for 10 years at a time without a service. Um, it works on volume. Um, it has, um, it has uh, dials to uh, control the volume and respiratory rate. Um, time it takes for inspiration. The, um, the uh, um, details on the controls have disappeared over 10 years ago but it still functions quite well. It, um, it has a uh, bellows inside unlike CPAP which provides a constant pressure or in some cases variable pressure. It gives a constant uh, a, a volume per respiration and you can see the bellows there working away quite happily um, and uh, you can see the electronics that control it. This works on Australian 240 voltage um, and US 125 voltage and also works on 12 volt. Um, it has its um, air outlet uh, which goes on up to a mask and it has a exhaust um, valve. Um, when this machine comes from the uh, factory the exhaust valve is uh, up near the mask but the exhaust valve is noisy and has produces condensation and uh, will certainly keep you awake at night so you need the exhaust valve away from you preferably down near the floor um, and condensation is still a problem so that's why I'm using a heated tube so we've got the inlet going up to a wire junction then it goes up to the mass in this case fitting over the nose and then going to a heated tube and then to the exhaust valve the exhaust valve is controlled by pressure from the bellows um, the, um, I've tried the, um, the masks that go over the nose and the uh, problem is that um, they uh, need to be on very tightly. Any leaks with this machine and you will not benefit from it. Um, and I've found that the mask that fits just over the nostrils is ideal, far more comfortable with far less leaks. Um, the, um, as I said, any leaks can be a problem and if um, one uses this machine and has their mouth drop open while they're sleeping, air will come rushing out their mouth and they'll lose benefit from it. So one must keep their um, mouth closed while using this. Um, I've had to um, devise my own chin strap because I could not find a commercial one to um, do the job. Um, the chin strap that I've designed is, is made from a baseball cap with the visor removed. Um, here it is here. Um, it has uh, uh, bands, solid bands, um, flexible bands going to the, the, uh, the, the back of the hat, to the chin cup, and elastic wide bands going to the front of the, to the, front of the um, hat. Um, the cup has been made to fit my um, chin. Um, which I um, produced by using plaster of Paris. 
Um, so I've had a, uh, a plaster of Paris mould made to suit my chin and then I've had the, uh, the reverse mould made over the top of that. Then I've um, acquired some low melting point plastic from my local orthotics department at the hospital uh, and this is then heated to boiling point, put inside the uh, first mould and the second mould is clamped on top of it and then you end up with end up with something that fits exactly on your chin because it's moulded exactly to your chin um, and that's what this, this cup is here I'll um, just put this on to show you how it fits the, um, uh, this works uh, well enough to cause my um, teeth to grind I've never been a tooth grinder until using this, but tooth grinding is a, a minor penalty to pay to have this condition controlled. So that's, that's the uh, chin strap on correctly at the moment. So I, can, I have some difficulty opening my mouth against those elastic straps on the sides. Um, the um, other uh, piece of equipment that I've used to um, control my sleep apnea is a uh, oximeter. Um, the problem is with using this you wake up in the morning and if you don't feel well did you have not enough air or did you have too much air and that's where the oximeter uh, has been useful although I don't use this all the time now but it is um, a useful occasional monitoring device. Um, and that's about it. Thank you.